also my wife, Rania. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Cross the message, but I just want to say how exciting it is and how honored it is to be up here to share with you all as members of the body of Christ. We get the opportunity to come and share how the cross the message impacts our lives every day. Okay, so she'll share now. I definitely know how to project my voice. That's a gift. <laughs> I'm grateful for that. Um, again, um, my name is Rynell, for those of you who don't know me. Uh, I, this is a complete honor and privilege to share my thoughts on the cross. Um, as a matter of fact, that song is, was actually my prayer uh, growing up and um, has been thus far on my journey to um, in my walk with Christ. I'm the oldest of six children uh, and the only girl. <laughs> but um, sadly, we grew up in an abusive household. So I wasn't, I wasn't that child that walked in freedom uh, from worries and had this you know, exciting, playful childhood and things like that. I was burdened um, by you know, the care of my siblings and the chaos of our abuser. So I learned surrender as a means of survival versus revival. When I learned of the cross, the sacrifice of, Je of Jesus, it was a confusing message to me, um, considering my distorted view of surrender. When I studied the Bible, the scriptures and prayer, of course, helped me to understand the cross um, and the surrender that Jesus had to the will of his Father. Still a very confusing um, message to me. And just at that time, just praying as a child, not even knowing what prayer meant or, you know, just the connection or any of that, I just knew there was a God. And I'm so grateful today that God was with me and even helping me in my, my desire to seek him and be connected to him, even though I didn't know what I was doing. I just knew that I needed to be free. I needed to be delivered. I needed my life to be saved. In Galatians, if you can turn your Bibles to Galatians 2, 20, and forgive me, I, sh I should have shared that in the beginning. Come on, sister. The Bible says, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So when I discovered that, flashing forward almost 25 years, I'm dating myself, <laughs> 25 years later, I realized that Jesus was there with me and that he had made that sacrifice for me so that I could live. And throughout my entire life, just leading me and guiding me and protecting me, um, and practically delivering me from death. So in knowing that, despite my understanding of it, I made the choice and I choose daily to have complete faith in him, in Jesus. I choose to, to trust him despite my emotions or external circumstances. Again, I mentioned I had a very unsavory past is what I like to refer to it as. So despite those external circumstances, and sometimes when I don't understand, I choose Jesus. I choose to remember the cross. It reassures me of God's grace and mercy. And it's new to me every single day. So what happened yesterday, last week, last year, is gone. The past is gone. I pray for continued surrender because I do struggle with it every day. I struggle because we, I, have a, I have an adversary, and he's been there as well. And he, I fight to stay in God's will and accept his will for my life every day. I take my pride and independence to the cross and sometimes bad attitude. <laughs> oh, <I know. laughs> to the cross daily and receive his grace and mercy. I choose 
make the conscious choice to re renew my mind in Christ, to let go of all my burdens, because Jesus died to set me free. Amen. Amen to that. Sweet. All right. Uh, Father God, thank you so much uh, again for your mercy and your grace. Thank you for sending us uh, your son, our Messiah, uh, that uh, gets set a wonderful example for us of surrender and the victories that come in it. Father, we love you so much for everything you've done for us. I pray that each and every day we are really taking to heart, God, um, to sacrifice the words you've given us, to, to have a beautiful relationship with you, God, to be set free from the bondages of so much captivity. Father, you did all of us through your son. We love you. We thank you for all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.